With the PTP right around the corner, it's time to discuss all the possibilities for the next big chapter in Dead by Daylight. Kings and Queens, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. The new chapter is right around the corner. There is a lot of information that we need to go over on what potentially could be the next chapter coming to the game. Quick little announcement before we jump on into the video and everything. I'm currently live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash a king, giving away our final set of Alan Wake DLC codes. If you want to get your hands on it, make sure you guys are joining. Let's jump on into everything. So first things first, let's state the facts. What do we actually know about this chapter? And then we'll work our way from there. Well, we know that this chapter is going to feature a new survivor, a new killer, and a new map. This is pretty nice. We haven't received a new map in quite a while. In our previous chapters, we've only received one said killer. So it's nice to have a full blown chapter. Now, typically when we get these large chapters and we get a killer, a survivor, and a map, more often than not, this indicates that this is going to be an original chapter. However, it still has happened that, you know, with Alien and Ellen Ripley and Nostromo, that you still can get yourself a licensed DLC with this. However, with all the recent licensed content that we've received in the game, almost a full year's worth of licensed content, it is more than likely that the next chapter is going to be original. However, this is not confirmed by whatever reason. This is just my own speculation. Previously, I was incorrect about this when I said that Alan Wake was more than likely to be original because of all the license and here I am eating my words. So the next chapter, in my opinion, again, I'm going to take this stance is more than likely original. However, it still can be a licensed chapter. We're already ready for a next chapter. Now it's time to jump on into all this. Talk about the theories, talk about the leading theories and the potentials for pretty much everything. Now, before I jump on into this, I want to let you guys know very quickly that today's video is actually sponsored. And this is my first ever campaign working with G Fuel. So I got to give a big thank you and a big shout out to them. They're actually doing a bunch of new things. And right now for Valentine's Day, they have their deadly attraction shaker cup. You guys can go ahead and get your hands on this by using my code down below for an awesome discount as well. That code is KINGYT. Thank you guys again for all the love and support and a big thank you for G Fuel. All right, it's time to fully talk about this chapter now and all the different speculation. This is where we go a little bit down that rabbit hole and we're going to start going a lot of different angles, take everything with a grain of salt. And it's up to yourself to use your own intuition to determine which one of these you really believe or if you first and foremost, there was a YouTube comment that was, you know, left on a video about a month ago by a very random person. And essentially, they claim that the next chapter was going to be Chucky. The chapter after that was going to be Alan Wake, which both of those were correct, which is kind of shocking. Uh, it could have been a lucky guess. They could have known some inside information, whatever the case may be. But they also said that the chapter after that is going to be Vecna, not from uh, Stranger Things, but from D&D. &D. And then they said after that, we're going to get Dracula from Castlevania. So nobody really paid attention to this comment until recently when they realized, hey, this person actually got these chapters correct way in advance. So what's really going on? Now, again, this, this person also left a more recent comment on another video. And essentially, they said that chapter 30.5 is Alan Wake. And there's going to be a legendary skin for Saga Anderson. Now, this was over three weeks ago that they left this comment. And we know that that also became true. So either this person is extremely, extremely good at guessing what the next chapters are going to be, or they actually do have some inside information. I don't really know. I'm not going to weigh my thoughts and opinions on this one. But to continue on what they were saying, they said that chapter 31 is an original killer similar to Legion. They have three humanoid slash alien. But of course, this is just a joke. I'm just assuming. So this is really interesting that, again, they got something correct. They had the Alan Wake stuff. Obviously, the Saga Anderson stuff, you could kind of maybe have made, I guess, an educated guess on that one and assume that Dead by Daylight might bring this skin into the game. And again, they've hit it right on the nose. Again, I'm not here whether to weigh if they know or they don't know any information. Take it the way you will. But let's take the second part of this into consideration. 
They said that the next chapter is going to be original and is going to be similar to Legion with three humanoid slash alien. And this actually correlates directly with and this correlates to sections talking about the three prisoners or the three watchers. I'm sure you guys have probably heard about this as well, but in case you haven't, this is basically talking about three English speaking prisoners from World War One who were taken into the fog in search of a lost temple. They were captured by the enemy after witnessing two of their companions executed they barely escaped their pursuers they fell into the temple they sought and into the entity's realm during the haunted by daylight event the three watchers entered their minds and they created the hooks and the generators in an attempt to open a doorway home we also know about the three watchers who are different characters and these are three unseen individuals who entered the minds of the three prisoners they have some unknown end goal in mind involving the devices attached to the hooks and the generators so that essentially was the lore for the haunted by daylight event however it still correlates to everything that we're kind of talking about now and this wouldn't necessarily be the first time that dead by daylight took something that was already incorporated in their lore and people kind of knew about and brought it in as a chapter examples of the blight and hattie come to mind but yeah this definitely could be a route that dead by daylight takes at one point or another this also correlates to the comment as well where they spoke about dracula and they said castlevania but let's get rid of that castlevania part we've always talked about a vampire in dead by daylight we've seen little videos from dead by daylight itself in the lore showcasing this original like dracula type of vampire so something like that again does make sense if this chapter were to be original now, whether you want to take this as Dead by Daylight's lore itself or justify it a little bit more with the, you know, leaked comment, you can all tie that together and maybe give this a nice, strong argument. With that being said, though, that's pretty much all the information that we have on if this chapter were to be an original chapter. Let's flip the script. Let's think about if this chapter was a license. What speculation do we potentially have for that? Now, there isn't too much because, again, it's more than likely not to be licensed in my opinion but still let's entertain this discussion dead by daylight tweeted out a roadmap recently and on this roadmap they showcase everything that is to come and in the next few weeks they actually showed that the ptp was coming out on week now further graphical choice for this ptp they decided to use like a static type of tv a static type of image essentially and a lot of people have been correlating this to the obvious slender man now again i personally don't think that this chapter is going to be licensed but if it is going to be licensed it's quite an interesting idea for them to do fascinated about why they decided to you know image to represent the ptb they necessarily don't make these graphical choices randomly it's never something that they just kind of toss out and be like hey, let's just do it if it was we would have seen their classic like black and red background with their standard text but even the text in this image is also with that tv static type of effect now people have correlated this to Satico, which doesn't make sense people have correlated it to slender man which makes a little bit more sense and people have also correlated this to maybe the power or some type of you know change that's going to be happening in the game which also could make sense nonetheless if you had to tie it to any license something like slender man would indeed make the most sense now is that going to happen well you have to wait and see and put your marbles somewhere but i personally don't think this is going to happen but this is the obvious and most likely choice if it were to happen based upon this image alone but again we have to wait and see that's pretty much all the speculation when it comes down to if there's going to be license now you can take this as well and as i said think about the power and maybe correlate this to more so of a power maybe it's an electric type of killer or someone that you know messes with your sanity or someone that is going to shock you similarly to the doctor i don't know we'll have to wait and see but essentially those are the theories that are currently floating around and what the next chapter i think it's obvious to say that this chapter and this PTP were a little bit lost. You know, in previous uh, speculation videos, we were a little bit on par with everything because most of this stuff was licensed and we were able to hit it on the head. This one potentially could be original and we're a little bit lost. As time goes on, though, I think we're going to learn some more information and we're going to have some better speculation for you guys. But as of now, those are all the leading theories slash all the evidence that we pretty much have for what the next 
chapter is going to be let me know what you guys think it's going to be down below in the comments down below don't forget to check out g fuel as well and i forgot to mention we are giving away some alan wake dlc codes today's the final day that we're going to be doing that live on stream so head on over to twitch.tv slash the king i'll see you guys there that's gonna wrap it up for me as always i'm the king i tip my crown to you guys and we'll see you in the fog